Welcome guys to the last video in the first offline news app playlist and we'll show you build the article details feature so what we'll do is we'll pass the article id that the user selects to that screen and then we'll load the data of that specific article and this is also first offline so this will also work in offline mode so we'll see now what we are going to do and what we did so far so this is what we did so far we have the news screen in which we have all these news in a lazy common and all the data about that news we have this top bar and of course this is all offline first so even in offline mode this still would work and we can actually see that by tuning on offline mode closing the app and then opening it again as you can see the news are still there let's turn off airplane mode but when we click on an item we don't see anything because the screen is still empty if we check the original app this is how it would look like if we click on an item you can see all the data the author or the source of this news the date the title some description the image as well and then the content of that news so we'll see how to actually pass the article id to that screen and then load the data with offline functionality of that specific article so let's close everything go here and let's collapse everything to start fresh let's go to our repository which is the news repository and previously i commented this function out which is get article because we didn't need that now let's actually uncomment it also from the abstraction and let's implement it so right here we need to return of course an article and as i said since we want this to work in offline mode we'll first try getting the article from our local database if it does not exist there then we'll get it from the api so what we are going to do is we want to use our dao dot get article passing the article id to this that we passed to this function but we did not call this function yet so we'll see all of that and then since this is nullable this returns a nullable article entity if we don't have that we're going to write a question mark let like this here we get article that is not null like this and then let's just print something that we did get the article so we're going to use our tag plus get local article plus article dot article id of course of course here this stands for the local article so if we do print the id that means we do have that article it's not this id right here it's the one we get from here this needs to return a flow first so return flow that's something i didn't do and then we want to emit news result dot success the result is going to be my article dot two articles since here we get an entity an article entity we want to convert that to a normal article that we can use in our presentation layer and then we want to return from this flow so now we got the article locally and everything is offline as you can see if this doesn't execute then the article was not so we don't have it locally we want to get it from the api and to do that we want to use a try catch if there is any exception so exception like this and then right here i'm going to print the stack trace and then check if this is a constellation exception because here we use coroutines so if that's a constellation exception we re-throw it this is just for coroutines and to make sure that everything is consoled properly and then we just want to print line that there is an error so our tag let's say get article remote exception plus what the exception exactly is just like that and then emit an error so news result dot error the error could be anything like can't load article whatever you specify in there however how if we don't have an error then we want to get an article from the api so it's going to be val remote article http client dot get our base url again and then we need some parameters here which are first of all the api key that is going to be my api key that we already saw how to get an api key in the first video so if you don't watch that watch it to know how to get your api key and then duplicate this for the id of the article that's how we get a single article and that's going to be article id so if you want to get right here a list we want to specify the api key the language of the news and then the page if we have a page if not we don't pass a page and then we get a list of news if we want to get a single article then we don't have to specify the language or anything else we just need the api key and then the id of that article and it's actually the type is going to be news list dto even though it's a single article but it's going to be like this eventually the page is going to be null and then the result is still going to be a list of article dto with only one item that is the specific article so we don't get this one directly from the api in fact we get it just like this if we check the documentation of the api then you can see that all right here we want to write dot body now we get it we can still print that so do that print line tag plus and let's say get remote or get article remote plus remote article dot 
results and let's say dot size to get the size and if the size is zero then we don't have an article if it's not which means it will be one then we do have an article and then we want to check if we have an article or not so if remote article dot results dot is not empty then we do have the articles and that's supposed to be equal to true because it's nullable so right here we're going to write emit a news results dot success and that is going to be my remote article dot results and zero so the index is going to be zero dot two article since that is an article dto we want to convert to an article and then else we just want to emit an error just like this could not load an article or the article so that's how we get an article so here in offline mode if we don't have internet connection or if we have it already cached in our database if it's not there then we get it from the api directly which means we will actually barely need to execute this code in a way because all the articles are already saved in the database just like this you can see they are all upsorted to the database and simply this is just for safety purposes but it's usually that the article is already there in our database which means we can still see single articles without making api calls like this and then here as well when we paginate we save all the articles that we got from the apis to our database and then here as well we do the same so what you want to do now is let's go and then build the ui for that so right here let's start with the state that is going to be an article state a data class we have the article itself the article of type article and by default no and then we want to know are we loading or not so just like this and then if there is an error this one is going to be is error so if there is an error or not boolean by default false there is no error and if you are loading or not so just like that that's the state simply we then want to create the actions so article action that is going to be an interface we have one action to load the article sealed interface and it is data class load article that takes an article id of type string and then it, that implements article action just like that this is actually supposed to be a vol we can now create the view model article view model this extends view model and then what we need to inject here is a private var news repository and then let's first create the state var state by mutable state of article state import import again and then private set since we don't want to change this from outside of this view model we want to create the on action function this is mvi design pattern by the way so action of type article action and then since we just have one action so we say action or win action and then add the remaining branches in this case we just want to get article or something like that get article passing our action dot article id we can also just name it load article that would be a better name and let's create that function right here private fun load article that takes an article id of type string here we first want to make sure that we actually do have an id so if article id dot is blank then we want to say state is going to be state dot copy is error equals to true since we don't have any article id then there is nothing to load so we will have an error in that case and then we will return from this function because there's nothing to load and then we want our view model scope to launch a quality in there so view model scope dot launch and then we want to start loading start our state is going to be state dot copy is loading true duplicate this for now false when we finish and then here we will load that so it's going to be my news repository dot get article passing my article id dot collect and here what we get is an an article result we want to check that article result so when article result add the remaining branches and then when that is an error again we just want to say state is going to be state dot copy is error true since we do have an error and then otherwise if we don't have an error then state is going to be state dot copy first of all we don't have an error so error is false and then article is going to be article re result dot data that's it that's how it should be and we can probably just do this state is equal to one of these two right here and that's it for the view model now we can create the screen let's go here and then write article screen make that a file I will use my live template again to do that so comp screen that i already talked about i will leave its link in the description if you want to get it go to your settings right here and then live templates 
and with compose add a new one and paste this code that you will get in description inside it so right here this is article screen and then article view model article state and article action and my theme news app theme that's it our screen is created and actually someone asked me why i don't use live preview right here it's because it makes video editing really hard since it's all the way in the left here while the code is in the right it just makes editing harder so i just actually preview what i do in the virtual device directly since it's closer to the code that's why i don't use that but i use it it's just for videos like this i don't now we can start with this and here we should get an article id so we just close this article id of type string and then we'll use a launched effect to load that so launched effect the key can be true or unit since we want this to execute only once so true and then we'll write view model dot on action article action dot load article passing my article id and then we can go to our screen right here and then here we want a box what we are going to do first is just showing if we have an error or not or are we loading or not so all that good stuff right here this we need a modifier modifier dot fill max size and then give it a background material theme dot color scheme dot background obviously and then content alignment alignment dot center import alignment and here we are going to check if our state dot is loading and the article is not state dot article is equal to null that means we don't have an article and we are still loading we want to show a circular progress indicator and the other thing we can just probably copy this and it's going to be the same if is error then we want to show a text that says can't load an article and then the font size could be 20.sp import sp font weight is going to be material scheme.error just like there is an error however if not then we want to check our state dot article dot lit here we get an article that we can use to show its data and everything is to be inside the little scaffold to make sure that it's all aligned well actually not here i'd rather have that scaffold at the top here put the whole box inside that scaffold and here we get some padding and then i'm going to write dots padding padding so now i can have my article right inside here and for that i'm going to create another function called uh, so composable article details and i will call that actually that should also take an article of type article and that's exactly what i'm going to call right here so article details article is going to be my article i don't need a modifier to be honest so all of that we'll let's first check what we are going to build hopefully it's this one i'm not sure okay so this is how it would look like and even if i have internet connection off and then i even close the app so you could just see the offline functionality like this and then i choose a different article like this one you can see i can still see all its stuff this is how it would look like for some article that has a description and i already talked about this content is that in free play we don't have content so i just put this dummy text as the content so all of this is going to be inside a column right here column that will take a modifier and then dot fill max size and then also a background material theme dot color scheme dot background and then vertical scroll remember scroll state since we can scroll like this some padding vertically we are going to go for like 16 dot dp or even let's go a little bit more 22 dot dp so right here we can then put our stuff the first thing is that the author or the article source and that is going to be a text state or article dot source name the font size let's say 24.sp and then max lines for this one is going to be one i don't want more than one overflow is going to be text overflow dot ellipsis and then font weight semi bold a little padding horizontally like this so that we push it from the sides because we don't want to do that since we don't want the image to be pushed from the sides or horizontally we can copy this one for the next one that is now the update so right here a spacer that has a height of 4 dot dp only this is going to be now pop date everything will be the same except that the font now is going to be only small like 14 dot sp and it's not going to be semi bold like this we can just copy this again paste it but here we want now 16 dot dp because here we have the title and the font size is going to be 17.sp we don't have a max lines or ellipses that's going to be just like this and then we want to copy this again for the next thing we just want to duplicate this here to have the image or probably a sync image that comes from quail let me just 
format this the model is going to be article.image url and then the content description could be article.title and the image loader i don't need that what i need is content scale content scale.grab and then i want to add a modifier modifier dot fill max width and dot background if there is no image material theme dot color scheme dot primary dot copy zero dot four f if there is no image which we'll show just this primary kind of transparent color and then the height 250 dp so that's it for the image the next thing we have is the description it's only going to be like 16 and actually for the title i'm going to go for font weight semi bold this one is going to be the same which is description and here as well font weight semi bold we then want to copy this one more time right here and then duplicate this here we want to have a horizontal line as you could see horizontal divider like this and then we have the content of that this one is going to be smaller or leave it at 16 but it's not going to be semi bold so that's it that's the screen simply we want to go to the main activity core presentation main activity in our navigation because now we want to call our article core screen passing my article id which is going to be article dot article id that's it here i have this modifier even though i don't even need it so i can get rid of it and i think this is it now let's run the app and we can keep the airplane mode on i think everything should work fine if it doesn't then we do have an issue to fix because this should work in offline mode and we already have data cached locally in our database i don't know if the app launched or the app crashed i don't know what's happened i think the app maybe crashed so all of this let me just clean this up i feel like the app has crashed I don't know what just happened so i'm just going to rerun it because i really don't know what happened here okay here it is and it's working as you can see from the remotes we got nothing because we don't have internet connection but locally we got 10 articles if we select one of them like this the app crashed and i know why it's because i did not do any dependency injection there without even checking the error i know that i go to article here and then add a new module called article module make that a file and here of our article module there is going to be a module here we only need a view model which is the article view model and then get for the repository then let's go to app and then add that right here article module now let's run the app and it should work hopefully now so check our look at okay we got our 10 items again let's just clear everything and then click on that as you can see here's the article id that we got locally and the ui looks exactly as we want it to be with the author the date the title the image the description and then the content so that's exactly how you want your news to look like we can check another one like this one it's all fine we can check this one as well what you are getting is the articles from the local database even if we turn off airplane mode now we are online we do have internet connection we can choose another article like this one we will still get it locally because we don't have to get it from the api even though we can but we don't have to so that's that everything looks just great and we just built this clean architecture first offline news app and if you've enjoyed this tutorial and this playlist till the end then you'll like my premium course in which you will build an even bigger app that is a large scale industry level and with app with the screen architecture offline functionality in a lot more complexity and more features and even building a kit or backend if you want to learn more you can check the description and support me by subscribing and leaving a like in this video see you in the next video bye